evaluation and reflective practice, collecting feedback and implementing improvements. So evaluation is the process of measuring the success of a new system or idea in reflection to how well it meets the initial needs of established in a problem statement. A key element here is obtaining feedback from the development team as well as potential clients or users in relation to their experiences with a new system in a trial environment. This feedback can then be reflected upon in order to update and perfect the system, ensuring that it satisfies the users through a positive experience when interacting with the system. So we're going to look at a series of steps now that can help us obviously get this data, analyze this data, and then obviously update our system based on the data. And what we're really trying to show is it's an ongoing practice here. And that's why we're saying that reflective practice in relation to evaluation. So as says, it all starts off with trialing the new system. Okay, so we've got the system set up or the idea set up and we're getting it tested by either the project team that's developing it, but also trying to include potential users or clients who may be interacting with it. Okay, at this development stage there. They're all getting a feel for the system and seeing how it works. The next area then is collecting feedback from those same groups. So the members of the actual development team or the potential users, they're going to give feedback based on their experiences. Now, this feedback could be through the use of surveys, interviews or meetings, or through the use of online tools embedded into forms and websites. Okay, and we need to specifically collect that feedback and collate that feedback. Okay, and obviously then put it somewhere where we can actually have it stored. Okay, but the key part here is obtaining and collecting the feedback from those user groups and the development team, okay, so that we now have the feedback. The next area then is analyzing that feedback. The obtained feedback now is analyzed by the development team. This analysis would obviously highlight consistent comments related to the positive, negatives, and areas of improvements that could be made to the system in relation to the performance based on those users' experiences. Okay, and we say consistent because one person might have a gripe, but then five other people might say, oh no, this thing's actually all right. And we need to weigh that up with the feedback. Okay, we need to choose what points of feedback are relevant. And obviously reoccurring points obviously highlight an issue or highlight something that's working very well when they're coming from multiple different users. Okay, so we need to analyze the feedback so that we get an understanding of what's working well, what's not working well, and what improvements could be made. Then at this step, we implement that. What improvements need to be made that we found from our analysis, we need to now do that to our system. We embed these new ideas and update our system, creating a new version. Okay, and then once we've done that, we retrial the system. All right, so what we've going on now is the actual cycle of reflective practice. Now, if it is something like an app, okay, or some sort of product we're designing, at some point we've got to publish it. So when we get to a point where we've implemented improvements and we now think the system is perfect, we now publish a version. Okay, so the actual app now is in a finalized state and we can push it out into market. But these days, that's not the end, okay? Even when apps are pushed out into market, they still need to be updated over time. This may be in response to changing user needs, or it could be that it needs to be compatible with other updated software, such as the operating system of the system the app's gonna be used upon. So, reflective practice continues Okay, even after the app is finished these days or certain systems are finished these days, we still continue to refer to and try to obtain feedback from our target audience. Are they still enjoying the app? What updates could be made? Okay, and then we do it again and then eventually publish a new version of what we're creating. So in essence, no system is ever truly finished. We're always trying to perfect it. And over time, circumstances change. New technology comes out new needs of users arise, okay? And we need to address that. So reflective practice is obviously ongoing, even beyond our final publishing of our actual system. But what's important here is that we continue to evaluate our product, obtain the feedback, analyze that feedback, and then try to find improvements can be made in order to perfect our system, continuing to ensure that it meets our target audience's needs.